All right, guys, so we're going to get ready to get into this opening. Like I said, very excited to get into some prestige here. Cool product, and this is only the second NFL I've ripped so far um, this year. Like I said, I'm really getting back into the swing of things with cards, so learn with me. Uh, be patient with me as I ch if I say anything that's incorrect or I have no idea the value of something as I'm pulling it. Just uh, play along with me because I'm I'm still trying to get back in the groove of things here. Um, as far as the NFL goes, it's been hard to find product, like I was mentioning in the beginning of the video. So Prestige was the first thing I was able to get my hands on, and I'm excited to rip this hanger for you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm really hoping, I want to hear from you guys, like, what's your luck been so far retail-wise? Because today I tried, I know it was a Sunday, so it's not really your most likely day to find retail product, but, um, went to a couple Targets and one Walmart, completely empty shelves. Um, I have a couple friends who have been looking as well, and their luck hasn't has kind of been the same um somebody was able to find prism baseball in a in a target which i thought about having them pick up for me but i decided to wait on it just because it's only the college uniforms right now um i know a lot about that draft class i actually wrote a fair amount of pieces on them but um still i figured i'd kind of rather wait to see them on actual teams um but yeah let me know what you guys think of like how, how's your luck been at at a lot of these retail places have you been able to find anything i've been hearing that there's decent product at um some walgreens and cvs if you get lucky even big lots but you're more talking about those like sort of mega boxes that have like two random packs from whatever years there's kind of like a slit on the side of the box, those megas where you can see what what's inside. So people have been doing that and like taking all the product from Walgreens and CVS. Went into one Walgreens, they had a box of series update, but I actually already have a lot of that right now ready to be ripped. So um, that's probably going to be my next video is doing some series updates. So I didn't want to buy another box until I see what I get from the ones I already have. All right. So, let's get into some prestige. I've already talked for too long. Um, I'm going to try and keep these videos a little bit shorter, but like I said, it's not just a card op a pack opening for me. Um, I kind of want to make it more than that. Talk about the cards, talk about the players as I'm pulling them. And you guys have to let me know, is that something you like, or would you rather me just just pull cards and it, it be that, really all that. Um, you guys let me know. So you can see Prestige in the back there. All right, Prestige 2020. You can see hanger box coming in that packaging. Our first card is not a rookie, second year Riley Ridley, I can see on the top. So let's, let's open this guy up first and uh, see what we can pull. This is a product I think I have gotten this in the past if i'm not mistaken but um not recently not in recent years like I, I've, I've been really like out of the card loop until this past year where i really got back into it so this is my first time ripping a lot of this stuff in a long time all right starting it off riley ridley chicago bears wide receiver We have a Phil Rivers, Indianapolis Colts, Rivers, so all the rumors today are that uh, Carson Wentz wants out of Philly and the Colts seem to be the favorite, which is no surprise. I mentioned that in one of my videos previously, but that's where I see him going. We have DeMonte Kazi. Falcons. I just realized I left my sleeves over here. I'll grab them real quick. All 
much better. Oh, I knew my little set was missing something. There it is. I'm not prepared for a hit. Maybe that'll bring me some luck here. Prepared for a hit with my cases. We have Christian Kirk, Cardinals. A Raheem Mustard, Mostert, Niners. Raheem Mostert. We have Clayton Gathers, Colts, Clayton Gathers. So yeah, today, big day of football action. All the playoff spots are locked up except for that NFC East, which comes down to this Eagles um, Redskins game going on right now. We have Ed Oliver, Bills, Ed Oliver. And these are just the prestige base cards right here, so. Not really looking for anything too crazy. Um, we want to wait till we get to the back half of this um, prestige hanger, and that's where the good stuff should be in the rookies. But yeah, it's a 60 card box. Preston Williams, Dolphins. Preston Williams. So if the Redskins, who are leading the Eagles right now, can get can hold on to this this game. They will be the NFC East champions at what seven and nine? I want to say, I think it's seven and nine. Odell Beckham, Browns. Odell. We have another great receiver, Julio Jones, Falcons. Julio Jones. There is a. Ochenna Nosu. Ochenna Nosu. For the Chargers. I hate how they flip these cards around on you. In any opening, it's just so frustrating. Dak Prescott. Cowboys. Old Dak. So these base cards, they're good looking. They're clean. Um, it's very similar to the prestige basketball that came in the Chronicles we opened. Josh Jacobs. The best... One of the best young backs in the league for the Raiders. Speaking of the best young backs in the league. Speedy recovery, Saquon Barkley. Wishing the best to him. Saquon Barkley. We have somebody who just scored first touchdown tonight for the Washington football team. Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin. And they flip him around on us yet again. A Texan here. Duke Johnson. Duke Johnson. We have Derek Carr for Vegas. Derek Carr. So as far as this rookie class goes, that's something I want to talk about because hopefully we're going to be ripping a lot of football here soon if I can get my hands on any prism or um, mosaic or anything like that, hopefully tomorrow at on a little bit of a retail hunt. Um, we have Adam Thielen for the Vikings, Adam Thielen. I did want to get into like some of the rookies that I personally want, would want to invest my money in right now and am looking to pull. Obviously, there's the obvious ones like a Justin Herbert, who I 100% see as the big money maker from this class. Mark Ingram, Ravens, Mark Ingram. But I think there's also a lot of possible money to be made in some of the guys that might not cost as much right now and are proven to have great seasons or even guys that aren't having a great season that you can look towards down the road. Um, there's also guys, in my opinion, that are overvalued right now. We have Le'Veon Bell, Jets, Le'Veon Bell. Um, another thing, just off off topic here real quick. Short print-wise, when it comes to this set, I don't, it's something I'm going to have to look into later. Because if I, 
I know there's like base rookie short prints that you can pull from the hanger boxes. So, um, yeah, I you get five rookies, four inserts, and five parallels from um, from this, from the hanger boxes. So, as far as the short prints we're looking for, I'm just pulling it up right now. Um, I know there's a couple. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, they're really tough to pull, but there is one for, it looks like it's Gandy Golden, Donovan's Peoples Jones, J.K. Dobbins is probably the best short print out there, or LaVisca Chenault is a good one, Jake Fromm. So, yeah, short prints are tough to find here. Those those are going to be a tough, tough ask. Um... Here we have Shaquem Griffin, Seahawks, one-armed man, Shaquem Griffin. But yeah, so back to the rookies conversation. For me, one of the guys that I think is worth investing in is, here we have a Curtis Samuel. I saw somebody had a, a nice Curtis Samuel PC on Twitter. Um, one of the guys I follow had a really nice Samuel it. I always find it interesting to see who people personally collect because it's, sometimes it's the most random names. Jordan Atkins, Houston, Jordan Atkins. But for rookies, if I had to come up with like a top five list, Herbert is clearly my number one. But I'd probably put Burrow number two, even with the injury. I think it's a good time to buy a little bit lower on him. Um, but I, I'm of the, of the belief, as we have a Max Crosby here for the Raiders, I'm of the belief that you would still long term. Uh, long term, I think Herbert is going to be the better quarterback than than Joe Burrow. And I know it's early; it's it's hard to say that with the injury. But I, I just I've seen that much from him early on to believe that. Um, and I still think though Burrow is going to be very good, which is why he's someone I would invest money into so that would be my one two as we have kevin byard for the titans kevin byard but i'm not so sure my number three over two right now wouldn't be justin jefferson justin jefferson is somebody that i've been so impressed with so far this season and what he's done justice hill for the ravens justice hill as we're still going through these base cards here nothing really to write home about all just base cards to start off as this is a 60 card box don't forget but i am hoping some parallels are coming up soon we have alejandro villanueva alejandro villanueva but yeah so justin jefferson might just be my number two it makes me sick to my stomach that the eagles passed up on him i mean the there's still a lot to be determined with uh jalen rager as we have a james devlin James Devlin, who the Eagles took instead, but I just think that Justin Jefferson is beyond just the Eagles colossally screwing up by not taking him, just like they did with DK Metcalf. So we have two great receivers here in a row. AJ Brown of the Titans, another guy the Eagles passed up on. And Cooper Cup of the Rams. Cooper Cup. But I just think Jefferson is like a mini Stefan Diggs, if not better than he Diggs ever was with the Vikings. And that's crazy to say. I just think he's that good. He's shown flashes that I've never seen really in a rookie receiver like this before. DJ Chark. DJ Chark for the Jags. Um but yeah, I would definitely invest money into him if you're looking for uh less obvious rookie. I mean it's pretty obvious, but I'm I'm I'd put him ahead of a lot of guys like even a Clyde Edwards Alaire, I'd put Jefferson ahead of him. I'd put him ahead of Tua. Tua is somebody that people are really high on, but as we have Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill. I don't see Tua reaching that elite um territory ever in his career. I see it with Herbert and Burrow. I think they're on the, well on their way. I just don't think Tua So we have Zadarius Smith. Packers, Zadarius. I don't know. He's just somebody that I, I'm not huge on right now. 
And like to put it another way, if I pulled a crazy Tua, like a uh, camo prism Tua, I'm probably selling it immediately right now. It's not a card I'm hanging on to. So we have Juju Smith-Schuster. Juju Smith-Schuster. But if you're looking for some more rookies I'd invest in, how about a guy like a um, Cam Akers for the Rams? Cam Akers is somebody. So we have Julian Edelman, Patriots. Julian Edelman. Uh, Cam Akers is somebody that has really started off slow. He was injured in the beginning of this year. He was split in carries with Malcolm Brown. And nice here as we get the man, the Super Bowl MVP, Patty Mahomes. Patty Mahomes prestige. Um, I guess we'll put that in a sleeve just because it is Mahomes. It's one of those guys. Let me sleeve up every one of his cards, right? It's kind of like Mike Trout. It's the best comparison there is. Mike Trout cards, Patty Mahomes cards. Whenever you pull it, you sleeve it. But, uh, yeah. He's just somebody, Cam Akers, that I think really showed strides late this season once he got the carries and the volume there. He started to really out-carry the other two in Malcolm Brown and Daryl Henderson as we have Jermaine Pratt, Bengals, Jermaine Pratt. So I think Cam Akers is going to really improve as the coming years go, and he's somebody that you could probably get relatively cheap right now. Um, another guy that sort of fits that mold, buy low, cheaper candidate right now. I would have put Jonathan Taylor on this list, but I think his price is just going to go through the roof right now, especially after today. So he's somebody I'd be hesitant towards. Um, but I also believe that Chase Young is so damn good. But the issue is that defensive players... As we have Leighton Van Der Esch, Cowboys, just don't really sell. Their memorabilia doesn't sell as much. So the question is, is Chase Young like going to enter a different category where he's that good that his stuff sells? And I just I haven't seen enough trends to show that. Um, but if you're looking for a low-key name on the offensive side of the ball that could in continue to improve, how about somebody on Jonathan Taylor's Colts in Michael Pittman Jr.? I think that's somebody... As we have Golden Tate for the Giants. I think Michael Pittman Jr. is somebody that if you get a legitimate quarterback, and I'm not trying to... So we have Darwin Thompson, Chiefs, Darwin Thompson. I'm not trying to um, completely roast Phillip Rivers. He's done great things in his career, but I mean, he's all but wash right now. The wrong Bengals quarterback right here, Ryan Finley. Why does he even have a card in this set? Ryan Finley. Interesting move by Prestige Football. They're just doing that to troll you, right? There's no other reason to put a Ryan Finley in this checklist. Um, here we have Cowboys, Jalen Smith, Cowboys, Jalen Smith. But yeah, I think that Michael Pittman Jr., if you get a quarterback like a Carson Wentz in there, I know he doesn't, everyone likes to say he doesn't like to throw to his receivers, but he could definitely turn Michael Pittman into a stud there. Um, they don't exactly have the best tight ends. What are you, you're looking at, like Trey Burton and Mo Alley Cox, as we, uh, looks like we could have a relic maybe coming up soon. A relic. But first, a Drew Locke for the Broncos. Drew Locke. Um, yeah, I think Michael Pittman is someone that could really continue to improve. He's so young um, and showed some flashes this year. So those are some names I like. Um, I'd maybe put, I wouldn't, I don't want to say top five value, but like guys that I personally would invest in, those might be my top five right there. Just to give you a little clue. So we'll go on with this pack opening. I'm trying not to reveal this uh, relic or memorabilia card too soon. So we'll make it an on-camera reveal. So we have Deshaun Jackson, Eagles, Deshaun Jackson. So sorry about that, guys. I was just 
uh, having trouble showing you guys this like relic. I thought it was a relic, but um, it looks it looked like a thicker card, which it's actually not. I think it was just like stuck together with this other card um, to sort of, and it, then it was also like flipped over. Um, but yeah, there's another Darwin Thompson on top of this that was flipped over, but it's not the signature, I don't believe. So we're just going to move this Thompson down, and I believe it should reveal the signature, which is going to be a green prestige. So we'll see who this signature is. It is not a relic, but it, I think it is a signature. And looks like is it an Atlanta Falcon. Yes, it is. Keanu Neal for the Atlanta Falcons. Signed, prestige, green, Keanu Neal. So pretty cool there. Card is not numbered, but a really sweet autograph. So yeah, cool to get a hit from this hanger regardless. And yeah, it is a green prestige as well. Um, let me know, Falcons fans. Anyone interested? So yeah, so uh, good to get a hit, definitely. Um, we'd like to see an offensive player always, but you take what you can get. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I will never complain about an autograph in any opening. I just will not do it, unless it's guaranteed. Unless it's guaranteed. If an autograph is guaranteed, then you have the right to complain. But if it's not, be happy with the fact that you got one. And the biggest thing for me is it's it tells me that it's a product that I'm willing to rip again. If there wasn't a guaranteed auto and you hit one, whether it was a good player or not. And this, I would say it's somewhere in between. Because Keanu Neal, as you see the autograph there again. Keanu Neal is a very good player. It's just exactly what we were talking about with Chase Young a minute ago. Defensive players don't hold that much value. But yeah, Green Prestige, Keanu Neal Auto. Pretty cool. So happy with that there as we get our first hit of the hanger box. As this card on top of it, as I mentioned earlier, was a Green Prestige Darwin Thompson as we pulled his base earlier. So... We move into our greens now, as this is a good green prestige right here, as we have Deshaun Watson green. Deshaun Watson. Not bad. Not a bad green to get there. And we're moving into our rookies, as you see a sweet one there. Here's a Golden Tate Giants. Golden Tate green. So here we're moving into these greens and now some rookies I see. And a numbered rookie at that, so that's cool. He's a good one. He's a very good one and two cool cards in a row here. So really nice. We're gonna get some sleeves ready for the both of them. As uh, this is a numbered rookie two numbered rookies here first deandre swift lions in the georgia uni deandre swift numbered to 299 299 cool swift there blue prestige i like this product a lot the only flaw um is really like you can see there that they're in their college uniforms, which is why this product does not go for really as much as some of the other NFL product um, because they're in those college uniforms. But nonetheless, I'll take it. Um, I'll, I'll definitely take a DeAndre Swift. And the fact that they're numbered, I did not really expect these to be numbered rookies. So I'm I'm happy with that as we've now gotten an auto and a numbered rookie in um, DeAndre Swift. And now we have another sweet numbered rookie. I don't know if you guys have really peeped it. Um, 
in the pile there, but I'm about to show you guys. And then I think could there be a relic behind it? There's a flipped card, but I don't know if it's a relic. Not a relic, maybe an auto, I meant. But yeah, another sweet, sweet rookie here. How about a Tua? Tua Tagovailoa. Our second Tua. And that is a red prestige. Numbered to $3.99. Really cool Tua. So that's our second Tua since we've started doing these openings. Got one in the Rookies and Stars. I like it a lot. So I'm happy with this opening so far for sure. We've pulled a numbered Swift, a numbered Tua, and a Keanu Neal autograph. As here we have a Prestige Mexico game. Melvin Gordon. Prestige Mexico game insert. Really cool insert. And I've heard that the inserts in this uh, product are pretty neat. So I'm happy to get those. I don't know about the hanger box exclusives. I know the exclusives that they have are um, short print. Here we have short print rookies are the exclusives. So here we have inside the numbers, Drew Brees. Inside the numbers. Cool there. We have another Drew, it looks like. Looks like another Drew Brees. Pre Prestige Pros. Prestige Pros. Drew Brees. So back to back Drew Brees. That's my favorite player of all time besides Brian Dawkins. Excuse me. So um, maybe that'll bring us some good juju here heading towards the end of the pack. Um, some more rookies coming up. So let's let's get lucky here, boys. Let's get lucky as here we have an old time player, prestige Brian Bosworth, and that is Seahawks. Cool Seahawks Bosworth there. Well, little, little card there. Not bad. Cool little insert. I didn't know they had legends in this product. As a couple more rookies, let's get lucky. Maybe a Herbert, maybe a Burrow. What can we find? Nope, it's going to be neither or. Marlon Davidson. Falcons, first up. And these are just the regular base rookies at the end here, I guess. Um, So really neat that we got a Tua and a Swift, though, out of our numbered rookies. I'm definitely happy with that as I, I look further into this product. Um, Yeah, these are just your base, it looks like. Yep. As we have Jedrick Wells, the Browns first round pick. Jedrick Wells, Alabama. Went to the Browns. Not bad, but let's get somebody that's not on uh, the offensive or defensive line. How about that? How about that? And our wishes are not going to come true here as we have AJ. AJ. Epinesa, AJ Epinesa, the Bills, and two more cards, I want to say, two more, come on, give us somebody good here, nice, nice ending here, first we're going to have Brian Edwards, Raiders, Brian Edwards, I believe he is a tight end, I want to say, or a receiver, wide receiver. And we finish with a base rookie that is definitely a good one. I was just hoping it would be somebody I could sleeve up. And this, I would say, although a base, this counts as someone I can sleeve up for sure. For sure. So we end prestige with a nice rookie. He's a base. But how about Chase Claypool? Chase Claypool of the Steelers. Nice card there. So in the Notre Dame uniform, hate Notre Dame, but Claypool is a stud. He's one of those guys that's in a lot of people's top 10. And Jesus, he looks jacked in that card. Did not know he was jacked like that. 
So we get a clay pool to sleeve up to end the prestige opening. And really not bad. I like this product a lot. Um, as we mentioned before, the flaw in this product tends to be the fact that they're in their college uniforms. So real a lot of collectors, team collectors, are looking for those base rookies in the uniform. But nonetheless, not too bad. Uh, we're going to reca recap some of the hits, uh, some of the rookies, some of the inserts. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. So to recap real quick, uh, Prestige 2020 football, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, we'll go over the re the real uh, hits and the rookies, but yeah, not not too bad. We were we were lucky enough to to pull an auto, so I always feel happy with that when it's not guaranteed. Uh, first off, to show these rookies, as I said, in college uniform, so that's the flaw with this product. If you're looking for the NFL rookies in uniform, do not get Prestige 2020. Knew that going in. But first we have Brian Edwards, Raiders, Brian Edwards. We have A.J. Epinesa, A.J. Epinesa, Bills. Jedrick Wells, Browns, Jedrick Wells. And yet another trenches guy. I didn't love the base rookies here, but they saved us a little bit with the last one. Marlon Davidson. Marlon Davidson, Falcons. Then we go to our inserts. And first off, we have our one legend guy, Brian. Just that. Brian Bosworth. Brian Bosworth. We have an inside the numbers insert, Drew Brees, inside the numbers. A Mexico game, Melvin Gordon, Mexico game, Melvin. There's a prestige pros, Drew Brees, prestige pros, Brees. And for our greens, Golden Tate, Giants, Darwin Thompson, Chiefs, green. We pulled two Darwin Thompsons, and I can honestly say I have no idea who that is. Zero clue. Don't even think he's on the team anymore. Speaking of the Chiefs, though, this guy is definitely on the team. A base, Patty Mahomes. Base, Patty Mahomes. Sleeve him up because it's Patty. Sleeve them up because it's Patty. Sleeve this one up because it's a green Deshaun Watson. Green Deshaun. Not bad. We have a base rookie Chase Claypool. Base rookie Claypool. A blue prestige numbered to 299 DeAndre Swift. 299 Swift. And probably the best hit of um, the hanger. I would say I think it goes for about around $15 when I looked it up earlier. Um, a red prestige numbered to 399 Tua. Tua numbered to 399. And we finish it off with our one autograph, which was not guaranteed. I want to harp on that. Not guaranteed in prestige football, but we get one. A green Keanu Neal. So it could have been a better auto, but I'll take it nonetheless. We did pull an auto, and he is a pro bowler. So it just stinks that d defensive players really don't go, m go for much on this market right now. But yeah, Keanu Neal, Falcons fans, let me know. Is this a guy you're interested in? Because I have his prestige auto right here. But yeah, that pretty much does it for the opening. Prestige Football 2020, my first football pack opening ever. I'm happy you guys were here for it. And we're going to try and bring you more in the future. Hopefully some prism, hopefully some mosaic. So leave a like, comment what you want to see next. And as always, join me next time on Fred's Card Breaks. Thank you.